welcome to Cheeria Boutique. For tailoring services, please make a reservation in advance. They have. In down the grapevine that Chio Rio Boutique just got some new fabrics in. Welcome to Chio Rio Boutique. For tailoring services, please make a reservation in advance. Yeah.
Afford any more bandages.
Water jet! I'm out of here! Adventure time! I'm going in! Winter uh -huh. soon! Can't catch me! Huh.
Fall in! Press the advantage! Who wants some of this?
Body and mind. Rain cutter. Rain outlines your fate. Huh? Uh, the Temple of Wisdom. Committed to memory. With all my strength!
T'was on a deserted moonlit night that the hero approached the vile dragon's limpid lair. Just rely on the ocean's self-cleaning ability.
Welcome to the Navia Line. I am Elfan. The boat will be departing imminently. Please do not stick your head, hands, or other body parts outside the boat. The Aquabus operator is not responsible for any accidents or injuries resulting from doing so. Also, please remember to buy the Steambird, though I don't read it myself. The destination of the current tour is Erinias. Points of interest worth visiting include the Fountain of Lucene and the Opera Epiclus. If you look to the left in the direction we are currently traveling, you will see the famous Fontaine Research Institute up in the sky. An experiment gone wrong turned new sightseeing opportunity. Human ingenuity truly is a wondrous thing.
Make my escape. forward to it. Huh. Looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead. Oh, Archon. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vache. What's wrong? Vache. Vache. Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Ah! Oh, Lynette! You scared Paimon! Why did you get here? Hmm. When he asked me to wait here for you, remember? Ah, right. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. 
I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. It's because of his sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. When do you cry? Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. So, what did the voice say? Emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. Make my escape. Bless our child. Traveler and Paimon, good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss it for the world! We've been looking forward to it! <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment, I'll fetch the tickets. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks, Linny! Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Linny! Could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. 
That's Cal, my assistant. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. Uh... <laughs> hey, Traveler! Maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty... Oh, you little... <laughs> of course you put this on Paimon! Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you, if that is what you would like. Oh! Uh... So, you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> uh, wait, that's not it, Paimon's... Sorry, um... Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, let's talk, but... Uh... What should we talk about? Uh... Oh! Paimon's got it! You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Oh, so you're not friends with Linny then? Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. <laughs> ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is we just arrived in Vaudane. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tevat. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Oh, Monsieur Nervillet. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Wait, Nervilet? Could he be... Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervilet is. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Ooh! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. 
And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to, there's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later, otherwise she may become... flustered. <laughs> huh? Oh! It's Farina, the Hydro Archon. Huh. She sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now enjoy the show. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right. Please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show's finally about to start! Ooh, boy, I can hardly wait! Paimon's never seen a real live magic show before! Ooh! They're dimming the lights! The show must be starting! Hmm. Sorry, Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely. Right before your very eyes. <sighs> it's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. I 
told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh-huh. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Huh, that's right. Paimon couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Um... Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just the magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant, after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now. There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap! Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow! How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, row 7, seat 3. Congratulations! You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh! Paimon kinda wants to count faster after hearing him say that! 
No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58! That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Oh, all right. You looked so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40, 39, 38! Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, mid-air right above the audience. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. Sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! 23! What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting? 19, 18, 17! Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Ten! Almost there now. Eight! Whew. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait! Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Hey, slow down! Six, Honestly! Five! Four! Three! Uh, whoops! Two, that doesn't count! One, zero! <gasps> Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> to fix the stage now, right? What happened? Oh no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box, right? This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. <laughs> yes, that's right. 
If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowell in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Well, uh, the... the serial disappearances case? <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before! <laughs> I know... I know the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really, using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. This all occurred during your magic show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. That can't be right! How can Linny do this? He was in the box on the stage the entire time! We can even hear his voice! Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances! He couldn't possibly mean catching himself! Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina. May I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that he... Well, I, uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina said it all. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. That's right. I mean you, Traveler. You'll support Linny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first... <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. But with Linny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most boring possible outcome. So, no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, the Opera Epicles! Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Well, Traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you, are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him in this case?
Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Linny and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I'm really quite looking forward to hearing it. Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just good to hear. Thank you so much. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. But, if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left... I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not, and I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Which is precisely why we need to investigate! As this book says, <clears throat> The impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. Paima bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? Don't worry, Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. You have good taste, Lynette! <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. I need to get back to my normal self. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> Thanks for that. We'll be counting on you. Yes, thank you so much. We're going to start investigating. Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Ah, oh, well... I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, then it will be well worth it. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate the stage and the seating areas. The investigation teams are still here. Hello, 
officer. How's the investigation going? Ah, uh, I see. You must be... Huh? Come with me and you'll see. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Even though he hadn't joined the troop, the assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd in. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with Cowl inside it. This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to f However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned. But he doesn't have a motive! Are you both good friends of his? Uh, well, you can't say we're good friends. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even... I know there's no such thing as magic. The real... I've seen a lot of cases. And I can tell you that people are the least reliable... C Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows, maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. The investigation team has some new findings. Turns out there's- See, I told you. What if the machine picks some big guy's seat? Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Linny and Lynette with their side of the investigation. What we- You're trying to help them? <laughs> Linny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? The lucky girl that later disappeared. Well, we thought there might be a serious problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further ins- It turns out that the seat number it picked wasn't random at all. The machine- I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat, regardless of whether it's a truck. In other words, Linny knew who would be sitting where from the very be- Hmm. That much checks out. Bet you see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Linny. Even though it's bad for Linny's case, Paimon had better write it. How can it be burned through so quickly by fireworks? Hmm? Why are you suddenly so serious, Traveler? you <laughs> 
Hey! 
Isn't that Nahida? Nahida! Paima didn't think we'd run into you here! Oh, hey there! It's been a while, hasn't it? What have you two been up to? <laughs> Seems like you've been enjoying yourselves. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking out for some weeds while getting some fresh air. I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Ermin's soul. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do. But I can't remember what it is. Hmm? Why is that? We'll help you remember! Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Like it's filled with some kind of power. Mm hmm. I found it in the sanctuary of Suristana, but I have no recollection of it whatsoever. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't figure out what it is. Traveler, do you have any ideas? You know, Nahida, we just happen to be going on an adventure right now. If we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know right away! Thanks, you two. I didn't mean to trouble you again. Don't mention it! Besides, it seems you've got a lot on your mind and we'd like to help! <laughs> Hey, get out! You shouldn't be around here! I'm sorry, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Fungi don't usually come near this place. Last warning! Get out before I kick you out, you hear? Hang on. I think it's trying to tell us something. But, Great Dendro Archon, it's a monster! Please, don't worry. Hmm. I think I understand. Seems that it wants us to follow it. You can understand it? Mm-hmm. Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we experience are all the same. I can feel its anxiety and fear. It's in dire need of our help. Well, fungi are kind of cute, but... That's true. Okay, let's go take a look. All right, lead the way, little fungus. Although they all look about the same, some fungi are friendly, while others are super aggressive and attack anyone they see. It can't be helped. Perhaps in their eyes, humans are like fierce monsters as well. After all, they can't distinguish which human behaviors are hostile or not, and it'd already be too late for them once humans have drawn their weapons. Hence why they tend to strike first, rather than waiting. <sighs> My mind is completely blank. I need to get out and unwind. It's time to pull the trigger. All is accounted for. Let's move out.
Can I go catch up on my sleep? Not too different from how humans think sometimes. That's what I meant by share the most. <laughs> it appears it was in a hurry because of this unconscious fungus. Hmm. Seems like they might be family. So maybe this fungus wanted to bring Nahida here to help its family member. Probably. Although fungi are simple creatures, they're very sensitive to elemental power. Maybe it noticed me on my way back and thought I'd be able to help. I'll take a look. I should be able to help if it's just a common illness. Hmm? What is it, Nahida? Strange. Very strange. This fungus didn't develop from a spore. It's an elemental life form. Huh? An elemental life form? Yes. Although the fungi you normally see are capable of using elemental powers, they're merely borrowing elemental power from nature around them. As for this fungus, it has elemental power flowing through it. Definitely not anything like your typical fungus. Exactly. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So this is a first even for Nahida. But that's not all. There's a large void within its elemental power. The void is stopping the elemental power from flowing normally, which must be why it fainted. So do you think it'll wake up if we can fill the void? Yes, and I just so happen to be good at this sort of thing. I'll see what I can do right away. <sighs> My power was compatible. Looks like everything is fine now. Lord of Tindro. Is it really the Lord of Tendro? Oh, I can't believe the Lord of Tendro saved me. Thank you, as well as the stranger and creature next to you. Ah! It can talk? Oh, I didn't expect such a strange creature to make a sound like that. Seems I'm just as shocked as you are. What? Of course Paimon can talk. And Paimon isn't a strange creature! Hello, Paimon. I am not yet able to evaluate an organism's intelligence from its appearance. I will only know you are able to speak once you have spoken. Oh, uh, well, no need to take it seriously. It's no big deal. But does Paimon really look so dumb that people might think Paimon doesn't know how to talk? You must understand, Paimon. A mouth is used for eating breathing, and other functions that are more important than speaking. So a creature may not speak, even if it has a mouth. I've never seen a creature like you before, so I dared not make the assumption that you could speak. Even if you do possess a number of human traits, it is still very common for creatures to have similar external forms, but completely different interiors, just like fungi and slimes. Did this fungus study at the academia? It seems even more talkative than Paimon. You're not a fungus, are you? That's correct. This might be surprising to you, and I'm sure that you must have questions. Let's find somewhere else to talk. 
It might startle my fellow family members if I speak too much using this strange voice. Me, 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 me. It says that it's very thankful for your help. I was confident that I knew of all the cre- However, what are you? I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a very long time. Possibly longer than any records in existence. My home was filled with flowing water and great mountains. Until the apocalypse came and changed my home forever. A horrifying power consumed all there was. The seeds of catastrophe nested and grew inside of us. We were victims of the apocalypse. The apocalypse? I'm not sure what it means either. It's a long and complicated story. Don't worry, we'll listen. Please continue. I was lucky and managed to survive. Afterward, I left with some of my family and came to Sumeru to search for a way to rescue my homeland. We came in contact with many species and learned from their cultures and knowledge, hoping to understand the truth behind the apocalypse. We later found out that humans know the pa- Your home was destroyed by forbidden knowledge? Does that mean you're from the desert? It said that they are looking for a way to save their homeland, but the catastrophe of the desert should have ended a long time ago. The Lord of Dendro is correct. We are not from the desert. That may sound a little odd, as it is very important to both- Yes! How could you forget? I am a life form that was contaminated by the apocalypse. Ah, I get it now. I'm sorry. That's okay. Lord of Dendro, there is no... And not only did you save me, but you've also already rid the world of the remaining forbidden knowledge, right? That's right. The forbidden knowledge is no more, and your homeland should be safe now. My home should be safe now. We can go home. For the longest time, this moment has only seemed like a dream. I never knew it would become a reality so quickly. I was unable to fulfill our calling. I never found a way to save my homeland, and I have even forgotten where it is. It's not your fault. You've already done everything you can. Every species paid a grave price in the fight against forbidden knowledge. This is not a responsibility you should carry on your own. You mentioned that there were other survivors besides yourself. The apocalypse put us through immense pain. Don't worry, I should be able to find them. I'll leave the rainforest to the Arunara. And as for the city... Oh yeah! They'll give us a hand! Give me a moment. I'll contact them right now. That should do it. It may take some time to find them, so let's wait for- Thank you, Lord of Dendro. We all believe- The moment I saw you when I awoke, I had a- Hmm? A creep- You might not remember. But this is a prophecy that we deeply be- Ah, oh, I see. But I'm very concerned about your homeland. Would you all be willing to come with me? The more family members that can return- But, didn't you say that you don't- Yes, but I know their end. The campaign begins. There are still so many places for us to explore. Don't fear, Yo Yo's here.
Shattered. I see everything. Don't be scared. Wipe out. Water tank. There is no escape. Shine 
down. To oblivion! There is no escape! Shine up! Make yourself at home! Your verdict is decided. Bombs away! Weak. <sighs> Absurd! Illusions of our distractions! Down. Go! 
There is no escape. The Temple of Wisdom. Grow, grow, grow. You, Gray, you're up. Torn to oblivion. Pathetic. We pathetic. <laughs> Illusion shattered. Water jet. The eye sweeps the lands. <laughs> is futile. <laughs> Absurd. Lightning falls on the land of eternity. <laughs> the thunder of silence. <laughs> Don't be scared. This body is eternal. That hurt through the ruin. Followed by blade. Commit it to memory. Make yourselves a move. Yeah. Courage. In spirit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Witness the final calamity. Shine down. We'll need a strategy.
Your verdict is decided. This one, a fleeting shadow. Stay put!
There's something that I'm very concerned about. Yes. I didn't mention it just now, but do you remember when I told you that the power in the crystal is very similar to mine, yet also different? The elemental power inside the crystal is completely identical to that of the fungus. What? Exactly. The prophecy that it mentioned was probably an agreement that I made with an elemental life form that once represented its race. I had to deal with the forbidden knowledge to save their homeland. The process, however, took away some of my memories. That sequence of events would explain the persistent feeling that I had unfinished business. Makes sense. Too bad it's unable to tell us more. Yeah. I've been trying to think of a place... Agreed. I really want to send them home, so they won't have to wander around anymore. The road here is a little rough. I'll lead the way. Don't worry! Paimon can handle any road! Uh -huh. 
Everybody stand back! living organisms in Sumeru. Thus, we gradually took the... F it's hard to believe that's even possible. The most important instinct any life form possesses is a... Your hand is shaped. The reason why f we are dense. So you mean... Not as freely. Although this is common sense to us, you cannot make a sprout grow into a giant tree instantly. Nor can you force a... I see. Humans have a... T ah, you're so smart. Growth. I see. A most beautiful... How much farther is it? We're about halfway there. You're doing great, Paimon. Do you need me to carry you on my back? Huh? No, Paimon was just curious. Paimon isn't that tired. <laughs> he seems to enjoy taking care of others. You think so? Does the Lord of Dendro need to be carried? Uh, uh, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Why don't you fly up and sit on top of my head? We can figure out who will carry who later! We have monsters here! different understanding of carrying someone. No matter whether it's tired or not, my child is always happy when I put it on my back and give it a ride. Child? You mean the fungus? Yes. What? Why can't your kids... Because it's just a fungus. I don't want my... However, it is slightly different from an or... Oh, then it must be a... You know, like Bob... Hmm. You have an... Huh? Strange and cute at the same time. <laughs> That's what the name I came up with was not as creative as its name. I'm sorry, but I've forgotten. Uh, yes, I must remember it. Yes, this way. We're almost there. Humans also call it's the last form we take. Uh, it's trying to say that when they've suffered enough and reached the end of the Yes. I would have also suffered. So previous research has revealed that forbidden knowledge is the root but even if forbidden knowledge has been they've been tormented by but what a sad and pitiful end. When I left my homeland, flowers like these filled they grew in the pre they grew ever but it's alright. After an adventurer clears the withering. But that would mean the effects of forbid- It's okay. That's not important. It's not right to leave. Now that we find- I understand. Just leave it to us. So you're worried about me. 
<laughs> it's fine. For it's natural to want to be overcautious. Uh, Pyra doesn't. Then let's do this. We've dealt with the withering cup. As I expected, it's the last of my kind that I'm aware of. So it wasn't able to make it to the end. If only it could have held on just a little- I hope that you will be free of this pain after returning home. Just thinking about how many elemental life forms have turned into tumors of the withering makes Paimon sad. It's okay. As long as elemental power still exists, then we will still be around. An external form is but a gift of time. Through growth comes change, and even abandonment of previous forms. However, our true nature is not so easily affected. It wouldn't have come to this if we were able to cure them earlier. But I will cure all of them. Even if it's just for the sake of the rainforest and all the life forms that live in it. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. It was a wise choice for us to place our trust in you and wait. Hold on. I think I got something. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so... They found a fungus that matches the description I gave them. It's currently unconscious. It must be in a similar situation as I was. We should hurry and go take a look. Okay, follow me.
we're close now. It's just a little further inside. But there are so many fungi here. They're probably all... Yeah, they won't be happy to see us. No fighting. These are all its family. Although we belong to different species, we've spent a long... They can be reasonable, as long... What should we do? You're the only... But you'll need Nahida's power if you want to save... I've got an idea. Can you... You want to transform into a fungus? Nahida is a god! Changing into a fungus should be a piece of cake! Even gods can't bend the laws of time so easily. Then we'll have to enter with the risk of being noticed. We may not, but if spending some of my power will guarantee the safety of you and its fi- Alright. You have great elemental- You will have to use power equal to that which is required to break th I will lend you the relevant knowledge that I have. Alright, I'm ready. Ch Lord of Dendro, this is nothing to joke about. Hmm? As am I. I'm not joking at all- Alright, alright! Let's not get hung up here! If it's really po- Okay. You really turned into a fungus! It's actually not too bad. My perspective in this form, the unconscious fungus, is just below here. Oh, how do we do that? I'll get close to them while you make your way over. You should be able to identify them using elemental sight since they're- Then, all you have to do is repeat the correct answer in your mind. As okay, got it! Let me lure away the fungi up top and make- Alright, good luck, Nahida! Let's go, Traveler! There's a fungus on patrol in the center there. It looks pretty vigilant, so I'd better go around it. <laughs> Why is it reacting like that? <gasps> Uh-oh, the fungus on patrol noticed me. Nah, nah. <laughs> There's a fungus on patrol in the center there. It looks pretty vigilant. going that way. One. 
Vegeta? What's wrong? <sighs> I never knew that it was so tiring to change forms like that. I even used the techniques that it taught me. <sighs> the power of time accumulates slowly and goes unnoticed. A great price is to be paid if... Thank you for everything you've done. All seems to have gone according to plan. Now, we simply wait for it to wake up. <sighs> Who are you? I apologize. Language is not easy. Need long time. It's okay, I have good news. Let me explain it to you the fungi way. Apocalypse ended? Go home now? Yes. Unfortunately, I've forgotten where home is. I was hoping you still remembered. I remember. Really? That's great! Home, Dendro Dragon. Dendro Dragon. Ah, yes! The Dendro Dragon! I'm sorry, I just got so excited. I've probably never expressed such emotions before. But yes, our home is the Dendro Dragon. Oh, wait a minute. Hyman's confused. Do you mean the Dendro Dragon as in an elemental dragon? Like Dvalin? Yes. They're both dragons, but a pep, the Dendro Dragon, has been around for longer and has accumulated dense elemental power. But I don't quite understand. Why would you say that your homeland is a dragon? Because we live inside the Dendro Dragon. Uh, uh... The Dendro Dragon. Inside. Very big. Mountains. Water, trees, us. There is an entire world inside the Dendro Dragon's body. The Dendro Dragon nurtured the earliest life forms and protected us inside of itself. It once told us in a majestic voice that once we finally matured, we'd be able to start life in a new world. However, that day never came. Our homeland was the greatest place there ever was before the apocalypse arrived. Paimon's still confused. Yes, a very good example. It appears that you're much smarter than Paimon. The only difference is that the Dendro Dragon is much, much larger than any Dendro slime. Wait, then if that's the case... Doesn't that imply that a pep has also been contaminated by forbidden knowledge? Yes, that is correct. What has suddenly made you look so worried, Lord of Dendro? I haven't seen this expression on you before. A pep is the most adaptable life form in the world. Which means that if all the forbidden knowledge has been eliminated... Then a big void will also form inside the dragon! I'm afraid so. Its body and soul have probably... No wonder I haven't seen a pep for so long. Hmm. Yes! How could I have forgotten? If the dendro... Dendro elemental power of that concentration, giant trees will completely block out the sun. Plants and humans will fight over oxygen. Samira will no longer be... Hey, what about the crystal? <sighs> Yes. Have you two ever seen anything like this before? No. Its power feels very familiar. Like some... I'm sorry our memories aren't very... It's okay. I'll contact my helpers. I'm counting on you all. Your info is crucial to us now. Let's wait for their reply again. Though I know waiting can... Thank you. Family. I 
explain to them that you aren't hostile. After seeing you save it, its family is very grateful to you. Go home, thief. Hard decision. Don't know. They are weak. I worry. If waiting, then I hope... Don't worry. I... Family is very important to us. No matter when we were actually fam, can you do one last thing for- Of course. I can re- I need to organize my thoughts as well. Thank you. Thank you. Tend. Soil. Food. Don't like plants. There are two things that it wants. Soil. There. Paimon understood that. No need to translate. We'll take- Mmm. <sighs> <sighs> Bye. 
down now. Can you tell us about the Dendro Dragon? We don't know anything about it. Well, the history of dragons starts from the very beginning of Tevet. Sumeru was a Pep's territory. 
In those days, the lush rainforest covered the entire nation. Oh, so there was no desert back then? Not at first. That came when a giant spike fell from the sky, turning a huge section of the rainforest into sand. In an attempt to adapt to its new environment, a pep changed color from the emerald green of the f No wonder those two elemental life forms are always talking about the importance of a death. A pep has always seen itself as the master of s However, powerless conflicts between the two sides are destined to continue and as far as I know, a pep had been slumbering in the desert and King de I'm not sure what may have led it to become involved, but re the crystal that I have in my possession is probably the key that links the- get along well, then nothing else matter. You place importance on appearances, but we do not. These are all things that are more reliable than mere external appearance. Oh, Paimon gets it now! Looks can always change. Paimon would still follow you around. L oh? Hmm. Understood. Thank you. Still nothing new from the forest. Seems like we won't... It appears we are out of leads to follow. It's okay, it isn't your fault. Maybe it's because the crystal has a very close connection to Forbidden... And if that's the case, fine... Hmm. The crystal and the Lord of Dendro. Mm-hmm, I do. The prophecy is a story that connects events of the past and the future. The rest of the family did not approve of its opinion at the time. So it left. Preserving the apocalypse? Do you mean that there's still some that hasn't been eliminated? That's not very likely. The power of Ermin Soul covers every inch of the land. Did the prophecy say where that family member went? To the limitless depths east of Sumeru. A murky place that no one can return from. Yeah, that must be the chasm, right? But what is it doing there? Hmm... It's impossible to preserve forbidden knowledge, but... What if it can be converted to a different form? I'm sorry if I'm suddenly not making any sense. However, I do think it's possible. Follow me. I'll explain it once we find that elemental life form. So that elemental life form came all the way here on its own and spent the... Wouldn't it already have become the withering like the... There is a chance that it could avoid that end, using the power of something here. I'm referring to what was used to fight against the abyss. 
It once rep has the ability to purify and stabilize powers that shouldn't forbidden knowledge that its light has shown upon is kept here forever in a different form. Yep. It's just like soap bubbles that rise to the water sur- ah, Another strange metaphor. What the Lord of Dendro means is that the apocalypse was altered by the power- Yes, and it shouldn't be far from here. Like we'll have to clear out the oozing filth in this area. You two should be able to take care of it, right? Yep, we know what to do. We'll just use the lumen stone on the oozing concretion. from the prophecy. That light! <sighs> Wait! Something dark is- What's going on? Didn't the heat- Maybe it's because such a long- Although the power of the oozing filth is more stable, it might have lost its mind after- Oh no! I should be able to purge it with my elemental power. But this is our only chance. Traveler! It's okay. I trust your judgment. Oh, yeah! You said that the Elem- You want to use its power? The Lord of Dendro seems hesitant. It's risky to use its power without f Don't understand! This- Yes, I understand. But this is our only- It's okay. There's no need to argue. Hmm. How about this? Traveler, you could try using it. I understand that you have an amazing resistance to forbid- Don't overdo it, Traveler. Paimon will be worried. <sighs> Lord of Dendro. And you others. How long? How long have I been waiting here? Yay! Looks like it worked! Lord of Dendro, here in person. Wait, did you get smaller again? I'm sorry. That portion of my memory is highly unreliable. Hmm, that sounds about right. After all, the... You once said that the apocalypse will be completely eradicated. Even you couldn't promise that you'd remember our agreement after those... However, you are definitely someone who stays... You and I made the agreement? Yes. You used your power to protect me. That is the reason why I was able to survive here. To be honest, I'm nearing my end. 
No one can withstand the power. In order to preserve a somewhat stable memory, I only the giant spike that fell from the sky was capable is the moment I lost my chance. But enough about me. Lord of Dendro. I understand. And can you please tell me what this is? This is a fire seed. It's an essential item for saving the Dendro Dragon. The Lord of Dendro and our people created this item together. It mimics how the Dendro Dragon has been tormented by the- However, if you are able to reactivate its heart, and as a result- Oh, so no wonder the crystal was able to heal the- What? You used the fire- mm -hmm. What? That's- uh, never mind. The fire seed contains a high concentration of element. It is not stable in its current form. Since I am its creator, I will take response. All right. Aside from being able to heal the dendro, in other words, you will be able to find. But you should hurry. What about? Forget about me. Everyone is returning. As I told you, I've our Lord of Dendro. I think our past has been. It's enough for me. Hey! Wait! It turned into. Can you use the Lumen Stone once more? Please, of all of us? This is a small ball of light that ev I can feel it. I can feel its knowledge and emotion. Do not be sad, my friends. It's because its external form does- Yes, because our external form- Let's go! Home. It's not much further. Follow me, we're cl- its power lingering and shifting around us. Sometimes it feels distant, but other times it seems close. This is its way of warning us. It has already noticed our presence. We won't be able to see anything if we keep going that way. Like you cannot survive in the endless. Sa A pep, we're here to save. I do not need saving, especially not by you, Boor. 
You are no different from Amun. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. Yet you call yourself... You're better off paying attention to your path ahead. I know that you hate both gods and humans, but you've grown too weak now. Let go. Foolish booer. You will find no... You will only be reviving the dragon that will... No! You're ill, that's all! That I am. Time will bring death to... I am different from the ancient dragons that came to terms with you. There's no need for this. There's no point in fighting. <laughs> the truth. The shackles that the god of wisdom... I have paid dearly for the truth. And... Hey! Don't leave! Careful! Something's coming. Ah! What is that? Hyman's never seen death before! It's our family. Huh? They're your family keep external form not important. Inner make the composition of their elemental power. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? This is also a form of adaptation. They've gradually taken this form in order to survive the apocalypse. Is there any way to avoid fighting the Hey! Can you guys talk? We're here to rescue you! Given it they're all just they're being drawn by the fire seed. All that remains are the instincts to survive and search for energy needed to do. So this is the result. Will our world become the same if forbidden knowledge was like fish struggling on land, unable to find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire world? Yes. But please try to be gentle. to leave the Dendro Dragon. Is there a way to make them revert to their el- Years of torment is what turned them into their- It seems only the Fire Seed, but it'll be risky if we use the fire- Correct. We cannot use- Everyone goes home. Not just- Uh, this is be- <sighs> Let me think for a second. <sighs> it's fine. Let's use the power of the Fire Seed. I can't bear leaving them. Don't worry, the decision is on me. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. It won't require much elemental power. But as long as I use my elemental power to stabilize it- Thank you. Sorry. Stubborn. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. Returning home is the most important thing to you. I f I'm not doing this just to protect you, but also because, after all, that giant Dendro dragon is- I will stand with you, Lord of Dendro. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Thank you. Alright, here it goes. Family. We will all be able to go home soon. amounts of knowledge and emotions are moving inside to imagine such growth could be a it's because you're carrying everyone yes fine this is the last part let
Where the dendro dragon lives? Yeah, who knows what's inside that cave? Our goal is not only to find the dragon, but to also enter the world inside of it. That will be impossible if we can't get it to cooperate with us. But how are we gonna do that? I'll see what I can do. A pep, I know we. However, we are both, we are not that different. And right now, hmm, wonder if... I don't care about what you believe in, who you hate, or what you... I'm here to save both of you. They've been searching for a way to save you ever since they... And now that everything is... No response. Your eagerness to serve... If you claim to know... Everyone safe. Then send us to the homeland. only able to ensure that we made it here safely. Hmm. Well, then let's go have a look up ahead. Yep, let's go. Paimon knows that. Oh, let's hurry. He might be just... Should be the heart of Oasis. All the damage it suffered internally will all. Then let's hurry and. All right, hang on. Uh... Wait, the fire seed. It shattered. It was even more. In... But why? We barely used it. I'm not sure. But if I didn't use it, and even if that's the case. Unless what? Unless I was already in a weakened state when I create, which would be when we at first saved the. Oh no! Wait, let's put that aside for a moment. If the fire seed has shattered, wouldn't that mean we came? Oh, do you know what we should? I. Uh, don't worry, Paimon. This is my response. Although my elemental power is slightly different than that of elemental life form, so all I have to do is imitate that power. You're. Gonna be yes. It'll take a lot of power. I might, however. What happens if I'll become a blade of grass or a twig? I will be able to unleash power. Be but you'll lose everything. That's all right. None of that matters compared to. No, no, wait. There has to be enough. Maybe you and the traveler can plant me in the soil of Sumeru. I can still communicate with the world through the forest. You can't be serious. If the Traveler were here, he... If we knew this was how you were going... I'm sorry, Paimon. But we're... Not all eagles who have fallen to the ground can soar in the sky once again. 
no. must be made, huh? but not by the Lord of Dendro. <sighs> We've all grown on this long journey. If the purpose of that growth was to return home, then our wishes have come true. Would you lend us your power? No. Come to this. All the knowledge, language, and emotions that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy. In your new homeland, nothing of who you were will remain. You won't be remembered by anyone. Is that truly the return you've always dreamed of? Lord of Dendro, don't be sad. This is not your home. We go home. Lord of Dentro should also go home. Hear us, please. Feel our heartfelt desires. Awaken! Hey, 
剧情。Knowledge, memories, and emotions have been reverted to elemental power and release. The guardians that have accompanied me for countless eras have also transformed in- They will be born once again But that's different! They won't ever be the same. Paimon, we will never understand it, and it will never understand us. That's how it's destined to be. But as long as you can be healthy again, then nothing else matters. Samara will be free. I thought that my rage would be kindled once my power returned to me. However, what I feel now is a feeling that- The forbidden knowledge influenced you ever since you were contaminated. Yes. There's no denying that. Although my hate- Be that as it- When you inevitably perish due to your ever-expanding curiosity, I will still sneer and mock you in my- Sheesh! Who can put up with you? I respect your decision, and with time, I will prove to Before you begin resting, there is one- How did you become affected by for- It's a long story. We all once believed in the distant past, that only forbidden knowledge could give us enough power to defeat the heavenly principles. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness from outside of this world and led us in a fight against the order established by the Outsiders. D dragon King? An unimaginable war took place into that, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. The world itself was on the verge of collapse. In war, the victor would inherit the right to shape the world, while the losers... But I didn't give up on searching for a way to turn the tides, even after the death of the Dragon King. As I attempted to collect more forbidden knowledge from the corners of the world, as it was on the verge of collapse, I was stopped by the giant spike that fell from the sky. Sand dunes arose where there was only forest, and it was as if even Sumeru itself was trying to tell me that the era of the dragons was over. But you still didn't give up, did you? Because of Amun Alakmar. Yes. Alakmar eventually obtained this power with the help of Nabu Malikata. His ambitions continue to grow and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him, I allowed his actions, 
under one condition. The condition was that after his death, all the knowledge he came to accumulate would belong to me. At that time, I still harbored deep regrets. By the time the Dragon King finally returned, the world had irrevocably changed. Some of the dragons have grown close to your kind, and have forgotten all about our hatred from when the world was taken from us. And some died, leaving behind nothing but their bones, while others chose to flee after experiencing pain and agony. But for me, the scales and will of the Dragon King still shine bright in my heart, even to this day. I will follow it until the end of my time. You really are insane. When Alakmar's proud kingdom collapsed, I swallowed him whole as I agreed. However, what I gained was no benefit. No. I gained the apocalypse. I used up all my strength just trying to keep the pain under control. I had no energy to analyze the knowledge he had accumulated. But even then, I still believe that his insanity was... F so that's how the apocalypse started. I admit that I fell for his trap. I was like a final failsafe in his plan. Tiny Booer, and the rest of you, continue for- How far will a life so dear and precious to the heavenly principles be able to go? I wonder. The dragon will need to rest for a very long time. It's not as ruthless as it was before. Nobody's in a good mood. Even though we accomplished something really important, Paimon still doesn't feel happy for some reason. Indeed. Although they'll still have the chance to be born again, each opportunity for growth is in perhaps the immense power. Can you really call a place with family? Those two fungi... Oh, yeah. Let's have... Should be do a girl spread by now. 